What is going on today guys? In today's video, I'm going over the seven tips that I can give any SMA right now that will make you more money and probably double your current revenue. So let's get into it. All right, before we get into this, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into number one. Number one is free webinars weekly. A lot of the times in SMMA, we're so focused on getting new clients. We're so focused on booking sales calls. But what if I told you that you can actually build your email list massively and do a free webinar every single week? If you got 100 business owners on a live webinar and you spent five bucks for an opt-in, you're gonna pay $5 per opt-in. You're getting $500 in ad spend to get 100 people on a webinar. Those 100 people, let's say 50% of the book a call, they're gonna be more qualified because they came to a live webinar. 12 of them are gonna show up and probably a good three to four are gonna close. So four closes for 500 bucks, you can stretch your ad spend a lot further. Now, obviously that comes down to higher show rates. So even if your show rates were three times as worse, you're still getting three to four new clients for 900 bucks in ad spend to get those same people on a live webinar. We're running this as well, but we're funneling them into ticket sales to get them in person at a live event, okay? The second tip is figure out your systems and hierarchy. As you grow and scale your SMA, you need to figure out, you know, who's your sales director? Who is client success manager? Who is the director of client success? Who is your operations manager? Who's your strategy leads, your account managers, your onboarders, your media buyers? Like, how does that hierarchy fall? Because as you scale and you have to have new pods, as we'll be called them, be able to take on new clients, you cannot have a messed up hierarchy. You're gonna have shit all over the place, no one knows what they're doing. It's just a complete crapshoot, okay? That's the second thing. Number three is, do not let your salespeople become directors. Your salespeople are too busy selling, they can't be the one directing other salespeople. You need to make sure you keep people in their zone of genius. Don't bring your salespeople into the sales director role because the sales director has more time on their hands to actually manage and micromanage those sales reps to increase performance and also time, productivity, follow up, nurture, and close. Okay, so that's the biggest thing that we had to learn is that we tried to move sales reps into director roles. It just was not a good idea. Number four is, if you're depending on only ads to grow your business, it's not the best thing for an agency. You have to be able to really ferment the systems and the result-driven promises that you're giving your clients to then build out higher LTV, more referrals, ascending those clients, okay? Number five is if you're not getting reviews from people when they get quick wins, you're missing out on massive social proof, okay? The big thing we implemented recently was when clients are getting wins in their chats and inside of Slack, we're just asking them for reviews right away. We gotta strike the iron while it's hot. Also, what you have to be doing is on top of reviews, ask for a video testimonial, give a gift card as an incentive, or ask for referrals. Those are the three biggest things you need to leverage right now so you don't have to keep spending money on ads. Yes, it's important to get in traffic, but if you get more money out of your current clients who are already spending money with you, second money is the easiest. Number six is make sure that you have someone to systemize your payroll. If you're doing payroll still, you're a solopreneur, maybe you have a couple of team members, stop doing payroll. Okay, you gotta take all the things off your plate. Focus on the 20% of things that you're good at to develop 80% of the results. That's the 80-20 rule at its finest. All the things that I thought I had to be doing, I didn't have to be doing. And that brings me to the last step, which is stop trying to get shiny objects in with different funnels and think of them as bolt-ons. All the times when we're in an agency, we're thinking about other ways we can make money. Low ticket, a webinar, all this, and we're doing different offers, and we're selling different services. Stop. Only build out new businesses or funnels that they are bolt-ons to the current thing that makes you the most amount of money. So, free workshops every week, events, a low ticket offer that funnels them into agency services, doing affiliates with people that are also in the marketing space. Stop doing all these different things in the industry that don't funnel to your front-end offer, okay? You have your front-end offer, your ascensions, your upsells, continuity, referrals, whatever else that you're providing value with, and you keep funneling those referrals to the beginning. Front end offer, ascension, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, continuity, referrals, looping them back and forth. So that's how you're gonna increase your LTV, keep clients around longer, and crush it this year. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you really enjoyed those tips. More high level people who are making at least 10, 20K a month in their agency, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.